We often hear about the environmental impact of plastic, but have you ever wondered how long it really takes for plastic to decompose? In this video, we'll explore the decomposition timeline of different types of plastic, why it takes so long, and what it means for our planet. Plastic is one of the most durable materials ever created. Unlike organic materials, which can decompose in weeks or months, plastic resists breaking down. Most plastics are made from synthetic materials derived from fossil fuels, and their chemical structure makes them nearly indestructible. But exactly how long does it take? It depends on the type of plastic. Let's start with plastic bags. These lightweight, single-use items are everywhere. Unfortunately, they're one of the most harmful to the environment. A plastic bag can take 10 to 20 years to decompose in the environment. However, even after they break down, they turn into microplastics, which persist in nature even longer. Next, let's talk about plastic bottles. These are commonly used for water, soda, and other drinks. Plastic bottles are made from PET, polyethylene terephthalate, and they take 450 years or more to decompose. Over those centuries, they leach harmful chemicals into the soil and water, causing long-term damage to ecosystems. Other types of plastic, like straws and plastic cutlery, also have incredibly long lifespans. Plastic straws can take 200 years to break down, while disposable utensils made of polypropylene might take up to 1,000 years to fully decompose. These small items can have a surprisingly big impact on marine and land environments. Now let's think about plastic packaging. Foam plastic, also known as styrofoam, is a huge problem. This material is used in everything from food containers to shipping insulation. Shockingly, styrofoam never fully decomposes, instead breaking into smaller and smaller pieces over time. It can persist for 500 years or more. So why does plastic take so long to decompose? The answer lies in its molecular structure. Plastics are made from long polymer chains that are extremely resistant to natural degradation processes. Unlike organic materials, which decompose due to bacteria and other organisms, plastic lacks the necessary biological components for quick breakdown. This longevity means that plastic waste accumulates at an alarming rate. Every piece of plastic ever produced still exists in some form today. From landfills to the ocean, plastic is everywhere. It's estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean if current trends continue. Microplastics are another concern. Even though plastic doesn't decompose quickly, it does break into tiny pieces over time. These microplastics contaminate soil, water, and air. They're small enough to enter the food chain, which means they can end up in the seafood we eat and the water we drink. So what can we do about it? Reducing our reliance on single-use plastics is the first step. By using reusable bags, bottles, and straws, we can limit the amount of plastic waste we produce. Recycling is also important, but not all plastic can be recycled. Always check local guidelines to ensure you're recycling properly. Another key solution is supporting biodegradable and compostable alternatives to traditional plastic. These materials break down much faster in the environment and don't leave harmful residues. Investing in research and innovation for sustainable packaging is crucial for reducing our long-term plastic footprint. Plastic decomposition can take anywhere from decades to centuries making it one of the most persistent environmental challenges we face today. By making conscious choices in our daily lives, we can reduce the amount of plastic waste we contribute. Let's work together to protect our planet for future generations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more informative videos.